In this video, I will uh, continue to work on the calibration step uh, of uh, Demetra uh, uh, with the LP600. I'm still working with the version 5.1. Um, uh, here uh, of the metro and um, I'm still working with the demonstration uh, images uh, especially the the Vega observation okay so uh, we work on the uh, calibration step uh, in the next videos and um, I, I did show you how to work to play with the uh, this calibration tool if it doesn't work uh, automatically the first time Okay, and now I want uh, here just to go more in details uh, to uh, in this parameter. So uh, this video is really a very technical uh, part uh, of the metro, and this is really if you want to go deeper and deeper in, in the uh, calibration operation, and, and and if you really want to to control perfectly the details. But I remind you that uh, normally you just have to click on the um, run button, and automatically it will um, uh, calibrate your spectrum okay so uh, here we are really opening the book the box to understand what happens but in normal conditions you never have to do that okay um, anyway so we have uh, this list I explain you that we have the de detection operation that detects all the lines in in the spectrum and then we have the identification step that says okay uh, among all these lines uh, here is the set of lines that I consider to be my reference line set okay so and this reference line set uh, you can edit it uh, by this uh, small editor that is accessible here okay so you can edit it add and remove lines or uh, load and store um, other data and so on. Okay, now I will focus in uh, to, to this part um, of the, the parameters uh, in, in the uh, this operation. I have several um, um, parameters here. So the section width is, in fact, uh, we will split uh, the uh, the spectrum in um, um, uh, uh, small parts of. 80 pixels wide to calculate the, s the the spectrum background this is the line that you can see here okay if i zoom in this part you have this continuous line uh, this is the background calculation it is important to calculate this background uh, to to make sure that we will remove the background and then we'll detect all, all the lines uh, above uh, this uh, th this uh, background Okay, so the the um, uh, the 80 uh, value means that we have sections of 80 pixels to make the average and detect the the, the, the background of the spectrum. The back right, uh, we consider that in this part, uh, half, well, 0.5, 50%, half of the uh, pixels are uh, in the background and half of them are in uh, lines. So we'll do an histogram of the lines and we'll keep only half of the uh, lower uh, pixels to detect the background again again okay so this value you really don't have to 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 detect to to change this value they are very common and it works most of time okay so the line threshold uh, is this is a a a, a value uh, on which uh, this is a sigma value um, above which we consider that there is a line okay so uh, we have a threshold which is based on the of the background based on the background uh, of the image and we consider that um, uh, uh, above this threshold we have these lines uh, we, we detect a line okay so the background is very low the the, the background now is, is very low so uh, even the small lines are detected okay and by the way the line detection is really between the, the we detect a line between uh, the, the the bottom of the line up to the maximum of the line okay so in this case we start from here to here and we consider that there is a line in this case for instance I can I can zoom on these uh, lines and uh, in this case we will detect two lines uh, uh, because in fact we detect one line here and we'll also detect another one uh, here because this value from here to here is above these several uh, sigmas uh, threshold okay so the minimum line pixels uh, this is something uh, again which is very important uh, we consider that uh, we have a line for instance if i look at this 
uh, line here, uh, it is very small, but in fact it, it w we are above 3 pixels wide. And if we were below uh, 3 pixels wide, for instance this one, I'm sure that it is below um, uh, the, the, the it is below 3 pixel uh, wide and in this case I don't detect it. Maybe if I change the value, I'm not sure, I'll test. Uh, uh, if I change the value, now, well not, it's not the case, it is not detected, but if I change to one pixel wide, uh, then uh, I can improve the detection. But really, if you have a line of one pixel wide, it means that you have a problem with the, the line. And if you have, in this case, I would prefer to remove le the line from the reference line if it must be detected. Okay, so this is the, 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 the criteria, another criteria for detecting uh, the, uh, the, the pixel wide. Uh, the next one is um, uh, the detected line used is that at the end we'll make a selection uh, among all the detected lines, we'll make a selection uh, to keep the highest um, value and the highest power of each line. For instance, this line will be kept compared to this line, for instance. Okay, so we, we consider that we have one. Uh, we, we detect, um, we'll, uh, we'll use only the most uh, brightest 80 lines in the, spe in, in the spectrum, in the calibration spectrum, okay? And by the way, uh, the next parameter during the uh, identification step, so where we consider that um, uh, we, we, we detect all the combination, possible combinations between the detected lines and the reference lines that are here, um, we, we make a, a first assumption for which uh, we, we, do, uh, we consider that there is a line error scale. Okay, and it's not the polynomial, uh, it's a very basic polynomial, it's just a line error scale. So it's not exactly uh, correct. And to make sure that we don't make a mistake, we'll take, uh, in fact, the 120 best combinations based on a line error uh, criteria, and then we, we will, for this 120, 120 uh, uh, combinations uh, will redo, um, will uh, redo um, a more precise calibration with a polynomial. Okay, so in fact, when you see the number, uh, there is a high number of calibration um, combinations. Sorry a high number of combinations, it's uh, uh, thousands of combinations, but at the end we'll keep uh, the 121 uh, best ones, and, um, and 120 best ones, sorry, and the, uh, we'll redo a precise calibration to make sure to keep really the best one and, and, and to be sure that we have no confusion uh, because of the non-linear uh, behavior, okay? Um, well, at the end we'll keep uh, residual tolerance. This is after uh, the detection, after the identification. So we will keep all the lines that have, have a better uh, residual tolerance than one angstrom. So it means that we we'll reject all the, uh, the, the worst uh, lines detected, uh, again, among the best combination. And the, um, uh, we consider that we must identify, based on this criteria of one angstrom, we must have at least seven lines at the end. And if we don't have seven lines at the end, then we will reject and we we'll even don't give any result here. So uh, we, we consider we should have at least uh, seven lines. We know that here we have two, four, seven, we have eight uh, combination, eight lights that are uh, correct. In this case, uh, uh, we, we consider we are above this criteria and this is uh, valuable, okay? And the last one, of course, is the degree of the polynomial, so you can change it to uh, two, three, four, uh, well, yeah, well, generally we keep uh, three, uh, the degree three is perfect uh, for an LP calibration, okay? So again, we have when you can play with this, we can play with the, the list of the calibration lines, and with that, uh, you can do whatever you want, and uh, what is important is that the end for your combination, you, you have a very good RMS here, and, I and, and it should work uh, at any time, okay? So when it is finished, you just click on validate, and now you can run your calibration, okay? That's it for this operation. We'll continue in the next video.